In this blog post, I'm going to talk about the editing process. Are you ready again? Okay. Um, we started with our trailer with a 30 second sequence, but we wanted to break up the chronological order of this sequence to make it appear more like a trailer. We decided to put the, each, sequence, each part of the sequence into a different part of the trailer. We wanted to then create other narrative enigmas with different parts of the storyline, such as his hacking side of the story, whilst he's being held ca captive by the kidnappers, and also his parents' press conference. We filmed these all at separate locations at different times, and this helped us with the editing process because we could then put them in each order to create the trailer of Iscariot. So we put in a lot of different computer shots and different shots where he was using a different keyboard or a laptop. Even moments of frustration when he was annoyed with his hacking process and destroyed his keyboard. We thought this sh showed a different side to his character rather than just a, um, a sad lonely child at school. He was also quite a dangerous and manipulative character. We also showed the other side of it, his story with the kidnap right at the beginning with a van and a chase scene where he gets chucked into a van and taken away and he is then taken to a different, lo a separate location which he doesn't know about. In a, We filmed this in a garage and it really, the mise-en-scene of this sequence was really good for our trailer because of the mess of the garage and, and the glass on the ground and him being tied in the chair and this really added to the mise-en-scene of the trailer throughout our trailer. For the editing process we needed to spend many hours on research for editing so we read a lot of guides on how to edit with specifically with our model of iMovie but also we thought we'd use every space an ounce of time we had so we went in in our freeze we went off to school and we felt this really helped for our editing process we felt filters were really important for our trailer for example the cctv shot from the higher angle we put over a black black and white filter and then a date in the corner and then these broken up lines to give it a more like old CCTV effect. CCTV effect. We also put a filter over across the whole of the trailer, apart from the CCTV shot, giving like the, the trailer a more dark ambiance feel, and like giving the, the whole overall feel of the trailer a darker mise en scène appearance.